so, so what I'm saying is that uh, what we found as we were trying to expand is that uh, Guatemala has a huge educational problem. They have paid a lot of attention, mostly uh, because of the pressure from from uh, from outside mm -hmm. to uh, to give uh, coverage to elementary school. So you have uh, in in, uh, in in all of the country you probably have coverage enough schools as deficient as deficient as it might be, mm -hmm. but you have coverage. Uh, you have schools and teachers for for about ninety five percent of the elementary. Uh, school needs, well, that's cool. but secondary, uh, then they just fall right through the cracks. Oh. And uh, the government schools, uh, education is by law supposed to be free, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when when it comes to secondary education, only a fraction of the schools of the of the public schools. Are for secondary education, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and the rest, and then so there's a huge number of students that graduate from elementary that have no place to go in terms of uh, public schools. About, about how many? What, what's the percentage? Oh, we're we're talking about um, in the neighborhood of uh, three and a half million children uh, wow. that graduate from elementary. All right. Uh, versus uh, something like uh, maybe uh, 600,000 that actually uh, make it to the other side, like wow. graduate from uh, from any kind of high school, private or public. Wow. And about 70% of the uh, secondary schools are private because the, the, the private sector has had to come in and provide for a service that. Provide for a service that was uh, the obligation of, of the government, but the government doesn't do anything about it. So therefore, they come in with uh, mostly uh, uh, cheap uh, and low quality uh, secondary schools. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So that's what you have in Koan, for instance you will find a number of uh, small private schools that will charge, uh, say, uh, uh, 30, 40 dollars a month wow. to have your child uh, come in, you know, and, uh, and, and go to school there mm -hmm. with uh, teachers that are being uh, underpaid, oh. uh, all of that. So that's, it's, it's a huge problem. Mm -hmm. uh, in the end, many of the many of the uh, parents that are from from the rural areas decide um, that's it. You know, sixth grade or uh, elementary, maybe uh, seventh or eighth grade, and that's it. Uh, we quit. Aww. We don't want to spend the money of sending the child from the village to the main city to go to school, we don't have the money, we don't have the resources, mm -hmm. it's not good enough, I mean it's low quality, so they quit. And this is this is where you have this big divide, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, what we thought is, well, what if we use technology, we, we realized that there were, uh, uh, the internet access was being, uh, it was growing fast throughout the country. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the fastest growing uh, telecommunication uh, countries in Central America. Uh -huh. uh, there's healthy uh, uh, competition between companies that provide good, uh, inexpensive access to like cell phones. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you, you saw how you were able to buy a cheap phone for oh, yeah. $20, you know, mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, internet access is, is provided also. So we said, what if we created a system whereby uh, we could use what we have learned throughout all of these years about education, about how to educate young people, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we delivered that to them via internet, you know. Mm -hmm. So we started 
we started experimenting with that about five years ago. And uh, about three years ago, we started actually doing it in one of our schools. Uh -huh. And uh, it worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It worked and it gave us the ideas necessary to begin uh, thinking, we can do this nationwide, you know. Oh. Rather than build, building schools, we can just, um, you know, build a, a, a technology bridge to get access to all of these children that are, that are uh, scattered around everywhere. the country, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and, and use technology. They can go to internet, internet cafes. And then uh, we started doing, making alliances. We make, made an alliance with a uh, tablet maker uh, whose uh, designer was uh, Bormala. Really? So he moved to China and he's making, it's, the company is called Molbu. And he's making a good quality uh, tablet that's uh, Wonderful. that's uh, only uh, sells for about uh, uh, three hundred uh, dollars, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and it's almost as powerful as a, as an iPad. Wow, it's it's, it's really amazing. And so anyway, uh, we made an alliance with them, uh, and they uh, have agreed to incorporate uh, our content and and deliver it through their their device uh -huh. specifically for uh, for us. Then we made another alliance. We didn't have the money to develop all of this right. and uh, and actually uh, make it uh, you know spread it. Uh, so we made an alliance with a, with a with a company called uh, Colegios del Futuro, and they agreed to uh, to invest enough money into it to make it viral, you know, to, to, to make it go everywhere wow. uh, at low cost, low enough that it's lower than most of these uh, uh, cheap private schools around the country. And so you could, so that, so this, so the student gets a, a nice tablet, mm -hmm. you know, and access to uh, internet Mm -hmm. uh, we've built a platform, educational platform, where we deliver all of the content, the science, the math, the English, wow. all of that, high quality, lots of uh, video and audio wow. and all of it. And, uh, yeah. and so uh, we, uh, as a foundation, the only thing that we are really interested in is we've We've actually created the content, right? right? So because right. we have the expertise, so so we're, we're we're building the platform, the the basis, the foundation for this whole thing, so that it be robust and that the contents are high quality and so forth. And then this other company will spread it, will make it go at, at all villages. We made a. Um, an alliance with a bank, a local bank, the oh. Ban Rural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. So they uh, have said, okay, we'll, we, we, we like the idea, we're for development, we're for, for education, so uh, we'll, we'll give the credit that the uh, parents need. If they need, uh, if they need to finance the, the education for the, for the child, we'll finance it at low interest. Wow. Kind of like wow. micro... My, my, micro loan. Micro lending, yeah. Sure. And so it's it's like a joining of a lot of forces, strong forces, uh, for a good cause. Yeah. So and so when uh, w when I when I talk to you guys, I, I'm I'm thinking, what well, you know, you guys can be a perfect ally for us because um, your your vision is is right along the lines of what we're trying sure. to do, mm -hmm. and um, these kinds of things. Uh, you can you can uh, teach uh, young people how to do this, you know, in in, in the villages, mm -hmm. right. uh, with their little tablet, right. you know, mm -hmm. uh, they can learn how to how to do these kinds of things, wow. and this can uh, transform complete villages. No question. You know, through education, through sure. instruction, through showing them, you know, you were saying um, some of these people in Chisek. Haven't even left Chisek. Have you? Don't yeah. even know Kobang. That's right. No, uh, they don't. So what if we are able to take 
take them uh, or on a trip to exactly. all of these places, you know, just virtually, yeah. you know, so they can see, so oh, they can, wow. all the options. Uh -huh. And this will cool. change their mindset completely, oh, you know. What? Yeah, it already has. And what if, <laughs> and what if, you know, uh, uh, we show them how to uh, create a, a, a web page so that they can uh, market their products and they can go worldwide mm -hmm. instead of just the little marketplace or just go on exactly. or just a city right, you know, right, right. worldwide yeah. so it's it's like uh, the imagination is the limit of right. what you can do once you can reach once you can get to them the problem is some of these people in in, in, in the villages are so so back there you know that it's really difficult for them to come down and get the education, but if you can give them this little okay. device, yeah. and uh, you tell them you just come once a week. That's all. You, that's all we need for you to do is come down to say go on once a week, and then uh, you bring your device, and we'll load all of the content. You don't even need to have internet access. Right. Mm -hmm. Just load all the content. The, the device is already set up to do this. Mm -hmm. And the platform is too. And so we load all of the content right there that you need right. to get your secondary education. Wow. Uh, and to get um, uh, free courses uh, or uh, what we call diplomados. So those are, are, uh, are s uh, special courses on um, useful things like accounting sure. or business administration or wood carving or whatever, whatever you marketing create, yeah. and so you so you take a course even if, if you say you're 18 or 20 years years, years or old older and, and, uh, you you're just working in the field but but uh, you know in the evenings or on weekends you're you're you know taking this course and you get a diploma Cool. And so, nice. so what you're doing is you, you're just uh, accelerating the, the rate at which these people are waking up yeah. to, uh, to a globalized is, world. But that's, that's exactly, exactly, exactly what's like happening. You know, waking up. It, it, you know, the, the awakening is just amazing. <laughs> they're so innocent. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and yet there's so many possibilities. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. so how t what about the accreditation? Accreditation. How, how, how does, how does, how um, the, the Ministry of Education um, ha, has been uh, doing uh, what we call educación a distancia or mm -hmm. uh, at a distance. Distance learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah um, for about um, 20 years maybe. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. But um, they are right now very concerned because of the quality of some of the programs that are out there right yeah, now. Exactly. That are so uh, deficient, right. that are basically selling the certificates. Okay, so oh, that's what's happening oh, with uh, education at a oh, distance. No. Yeah. So not only their um, formal face-to-face uh, uh, -face, uh, education is deficient, but then they have this void here with the the at a distance education. Mm -hmm. So, so they they stopped uh, giving uh, sort of uh, allowing for this to go. But we've talked to them. Uh, we've talked to the minister. We've talked to the vice minister. We've talked to the director of uh, DJX, uh, and, and those people have seen what we've created. Okay. And they've said, "Wow, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't want to. We, we didn't. We, we've been sort of holding back." on this thing, but seeing what you guys have done, uh, we're, we're going to give you the green light to, oh, to go. So, so we have the green green light to go. Uh, and we also have an alliance with another organization that has um, education at a distance uh, already uh, authorized by the ministry. So nice. even for next year, we're set up so that uh, we can uh, sign up any number of students, Wonderful. and they can they can get certificates, valid certificates with uh, a seal of the uh, Ministry of nice. Education. Nice. Um, yeah. Tell us what the what happens to the young people that right now are not in school. What kind of things are they doing with their lives? Oh boy. <laughs> so 
So what you have is, first of all, you have a young country. So you have 70% uh, uh, of, we, there's roughly 14 million people in this country. Right. And, and about 70% are between the ages of 1 and 30. Wow. And so uh, they're young. You know, mm -hmm. so, and then, uh, so, so you have between this 3.5 million that I was telling you about that graduate from elementary, not mentioning the number of children that don't even go to elementary, but uh, yeah. just just oh, wow. those that those that graduate yeah. from elementary uh, and the ones that actually graduate from high school. Uh, so there's a there's a gap there's a gap of about uh, two million uh, uh, young people that uh, do not finish. Right, they end up. They end up uh, on the streets, uh, driving tuk-tuks, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing, uh, being uh, bus helpers. You know, you've seen them hanging from the buses. Uh -huh. Those are young people. They're uh -huh. like, nothing you know, 16, 15, nothing else to do, and they, they just love the adventure of hanging out from the buses bus. and things yeah. like that. Uh, or they join gangs, yeah. uh, and uh, they become the foot soldiers for organized crime. Sure. And uh, once they uh, get into that circle, uh, vicious cycle, it's, re it's really hard for them to come out. And so you have a lot of crime in this country. A lot of young people with a lot of energy, yeah. hungry, uh, some of them uh, with kids. Yeah. And yeah. so uh, they're desperate. They're desperate. It's, it's, it, so it creates a crisis you know, at, at, at a country level that uh, it's almost impossible for for the government to to tackle. Well, I, I, we think it is. I mean, it's saying, that what you're saying, it, it is impossible. Yeah. How, how are you going to... Uh, yeah, there's, it, there's, there's it, not it, enough police to... No. to, to no. And, and even if you did, you know, how are you going to uh, manage all of those young people that are so full of energy, so rebellious, so yeah. ready to fight for a cause, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's impossible. So the the uh, and and see the thing is okay. So so at the beginning of this year, uh, at the uh, front page of Prensa Libre, the, the, the biggest uh, newspaper, uh, newspaper yeah. in, in in the country, right. uh, uh, in January, the uh, the news was uh, 140,000 uh, young men uh, entering the. Uh, uh, attempted to enter into the secondary schools, but didn't get in because wow. of lack of space. There's no room wow. for them in the public schools. So, so, you, so, 140,000 uh, this actually year wanted to be there. Actually, yeah, made the effort, got on the on the long line that goes around the building. We, yes. we, we, <coughs> we, we, we saw, day. we filmed one today in Cobalt. Did you? Yeah. In fact, we filmed two. Yeah. Our, our friend Anna was going to take this test, so we got her there to Coban. Early this morning. Early, by Early the late, and she calls to make sure she's going to be there on time, and we get yeah. there, and the line is down the street, around yeah. the, around the block. block. Are you, you, the, 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 what you see in, in the city, for instance, and in, in many of the main cities, yeah. is uh, these uh, whole families uh, spend the night, they sleep on, on the, the street. street. Mm -hmm. So that they can get in early enough. Get the numbers sooner. With the little number, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then the rest are rejected. They can move. They they can't get in. You know. Oh. And so they, and a lot of them uh, want to. You know. So and, the, and the, that's just the ones that that even try. And then there's there's the ones that then there's the ones that don't even try because it's just too hard. It's the ones that are out in the villages. Mm -hmm. You know. How can you send? Your 13-year-old girl on one of those chicken buses, yeah. no. you know, at five o'clock in the morning, so that they can get in into a school in one of the, the cities like City. Chimaltenango, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, if if you're from San Martin or some other village, okay. you know, coming in uh, for two hours on a chicken bus, yeah. you know, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then come into a school and then have to get on another bus to get back and get home at night. Yeah, no. uh, yeah, I'd yeah, rather not. No, you no. Know? <laughs> well, and all of the 
yeah. that, that, that are thousands and thousands who never even get a chance to go to any school. That, that, that is just mind-boggling to me. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the other yeah. thing. And so, the, like you said, the, 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 the problem appears to be so, uh, there's no way to manage it. Yeah, yeah. But what you're doing... Technology. Yeah. Te technology <laughs> has allowed us to okay. solve the problem. Not only uh, solve the, the big problem that we have in this country, which is the problem of all of these uh, young people that want, that want to go to school, they want to finish the, their uh, high school so that they can get on with their lives, work, or go to the university. Mm -hmm. uh, giving them access, that's, that's the big problem. But the deeper problem is the quality. Yeah. Is, is that through uh, technology, you are able to get a little closer to the ideal education, which is personal education, which is actually giving you a chance to go at your own rate yes. without other students ri ridiculing you because mm -hmm. you don't know, you know, uh, yeah. the multiplication tables or whatever, you know. So you can go at your own pace. Uh, you can uh, you can allow for levels of reading, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, which is so important. So Building yes. a platform yes. of language, yes. so that because if you don't have language skills, you don't have education. It sure. doesn't matter how many pieces of paper you have, right? Mm -hmm. So Spanish language is the basis for education in Guatemala, and yet you have all these Maya languages out there. So you have uh, kids that uh, whose uh, second language is Spanish, mm -hmm. and so 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 now they have. If you don't teach them enough Spanish, they don't get to build this platform on which they build their education. That is actually the useful thing for them to succeed in uh, at work mm -hmm. or at the university. It's all in Spanish. Sure. So um, you have millions of kids. That, yeah. That, that Spanish is like a language that. They don't even comprehend. Yeah. How yeah. many kids can one school support? How many kids can go? Um, well, we are actually uh, envisioning uh, thousands of students uh, 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 being supported by this whole system. Wonderful. Uh, as it, 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 we don't have a limit right now to what the system can support. Is uh, the, the the limit is how fast we can build these centers uh, because what we want to do is we want to, you don't want to, uh, virtual education is tricky. So it's even tricky for uh, college students, you know, uh, online education. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and for teenagers, it's even uh, tougher. Uh, they get discouraged uh, quickly. You know, if they get stuck on a math problem, they say, well, I'm just not good at this, you know. Yeah. And so you don't want to leave them alone. You want to have support systems. Yeah. And so what, we, what we've created is a system of uh, online tutors. So you have one, one online tutor that's a specialist in math for a number of, of uh, students wow. uh, that are assigned by name. And so uh, this guy just keeps track of how each one of these uh, students is doing. And those who are, you know, sort of dragging behind, he calls them. Uh, wow. uh, okay, so that's one one support system is uh, through the platform. You get all these uh, tutors that are uh, out there, just making sure that no one's left behind. Um, and then you have these support centers, like the one uh, we hope you guys build in your. Do in uh, we're, we're definitely go on and some other uh, yeah. towns uh, yes. later on. So these these are uh, physical uh, places where you have uh, one or more actual uh, you know live tutors, mm -hmm. uh, and so so the, the student has a place to go. It's not up in the sky and you know it, it's mm -hmm. actually a physical place you can go and say, look, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. And there's an, there's another human being there that says, all right, let me help you. Mm -hmm. Sit here and let's go through this problem. Let's go through this issue uh, and, and solve it for you. So, so you have those two ways of giving support to these teenagers that can easily give up 
you know, so throwing the towel. Well, and and you know, a little while ago you were talking about quality teachers. Obviously, you're going <laughs> to that the type of teachers are going to be extremely qualified. Oh yeah, no, we have a yeah, we have a. Yeah, this is why we're spending so much money. Uh, the foundation uh, has, you know, thankfully uh, been able to get some people in the states to donate uh, money for about three years. It's been coming in. Uh, they've seen the picture, you know. They've seen what this can do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, we've we have a team right now of about 40 highly qualified. Uh, uh, developers, content developers, that are going full time developing wow. content in science, Amazing. in math, in uh, social studies, in geography, in physics, in all of the different uh, subject matters that uh, the, that require right. for uh, a certificate, uh, a high school certificate. Right. And um, w one one example I I often give is. Uh, what what would you prefer uh, if you if you if you're a, a 15 year old uh, kid you know uh, to go to a classroom uh, with 50 other kids making noise you want to learn right mm -hmm. uh, you want to learn about history the history of your country the history and this so you're inside a history class and you saw all these kids making noise and you have this teacher that's uh, barely uh, a high school graduate because our teachers unfortunately uh, don't even go to the university right, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so you have this this guy that uh, read uh, last night you know mm -hmm. read a, a yeah. textbook uh, that's outdated right, right. textbook about right. history right. Oh, and and attempts to give you a lecture on the history of Latin America right, All right so it's really boring. It's a talking head. <laughs> right. He barely has uh, chalk mm -hmm. and uh, a blackboard, uh, sort of an old blackboard. All right. So that's what you. So you prefer that, or how about um, Ricardo Salazar? This is my my nephew, who I'm very proud of. Good. Ricardo <laughs> Salazar, who just recently graduated from Harvard in Latin American history. Right, oh, wow. who's teaching in the? Uh, he's a teacher at the University of Connecticut, hmm. and he's he's a Guatemalan, right? right? So, he's, so he he cool. speaks Spanish with a Guatemalan accent. Excellent. He can talk to them like a friend. He knows what they've been through because he has been yes, here. Well, he's yes. been there, right? <laughs> so he can tell them, hey guys, look, I'm gonna explain uh, the real history to you. Yeah. Yeah. What really happened to the Spaniards, okay? Uh, not the, the the stuff that's in the textbooks that's been uh, mm -hmm. sort of uh, watered <laughs> water yeah. down and and manipulated, and, <laughs> but he's he, he's he's studied this for years and years. He actually oh, wow. went to all these countries to study uh, the Latin American history. He's an expert. So uh, and he has and then you can uh, combine his lecture with uh, pictures and video. Wow. Of the different places, so if you ask me, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a dumb question, yeah. right? <laughs> of course. Of course. Yes. And, and that's what you can do with technology. See, right. you you can take a kid uh, right through the justice system. You know, uh, yeah. you can take him on a on a on a ship. Yes. Uh, and travel throughout the whole digestive system, mm -hmm. and uh, wow. and become a cell. Uh -huh. Right, uh, and uh, and meet all the, the bacteria and all the things in the stomach, oh, and you know you can do that with technology, uh -huh. and and it allows you to do that. And so the quality, uh, the level of interest of the student in learning just goes through the roof, because kids are naturally curious. They want to know, know stuff. They know. It's just that we just pound. Uh, uh, the curiosity down to where yeah, we do. it becomes boring to them. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is. Wow, thank you so much. Anything else you think that they need, our people need to know? Well, um, we just we just want to uh, make sure that 
everybody knows that you know the, the, the these foundations, you know, your foundation, my foundation, the the whole basis of it uh, has been to make a dent, to make a contribution, to do something about uh, a, a beautiful country like Guatemala. This is my country. I was born here, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I, I had the chance to stay in the United States, uh, be a engineer, right. uh, make a lot of money. Uh, I gave it up and I came back and I sort of uh, committed uh, uh, career suicide <laughs> to go into education to do this. Yeah. Because the vision is, um, I was born here for a reason. You know, there's there's, there's a there's a there's a reason why uh, I was placed here uh, in this country with so many problems, and I've had the opportunity to learn and to and to have these ideas, and so uh, I want to give back, uh, and, uh, and so by by. Making these uh, uh, by by creating this foundation with the help of friends and uh, and uh, sort of giving part of my life to this cause and hopefully even if it's uh, right before I kick the bucket right <laughs> uh, but uh, but that that I will see that I've made a difference you know and, and I'm pretty sure that you guys have the same sort of idea. Well, that's the reason we are here. Yes, that's yes. the reason we yeah. choose to yeah. to make this our home. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is um, this is where our, our hearts are, and so yeah. and the people are beautiful. They are kind, and they want it so bad. Yeah. yeah. But they have no way to even reach out and even begin to to consider how or or where. Right. Particularly uh, the the villages, the Mayan villages, yeah. uh -huh. because um, our, uh, this is a country of uh, sort of cannibals, okay, mm -hmm. uh, cultural cannibals. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, sold out to the Spaniards uh, and, uh, and, and sort of uh, uh, generated uh, a, a racism within it's, it's very similar to what happens to the to the black culture in the United States. Mm -hmm. So so there's the black blacks and there's a sort of not so much n not so black. Yeah, right, and right, so right, and, right, and, right, and, right, and right. the ones discriminate against the others. Uh -huh. And so this the same thing happens here. So, so there's the the uh, Indian with uh, one Indian uh, last name and one Spanish last name. Now he is superior to the Indian with two. Uh, Mayan names, right? Oh. Now, if I have two Spanish uh, last names, then I am better than the other two, right? Oh. Now, if if I have a European name, like a like a German name or a or American name, then I'm superior to these. So it's so it's like a caste system, mm -hmm. okay, of discrimination and putting down people, and so it, at the bottom is the these people that you went to see yeah exactly and they've been pounded down so hard that you you cannot this is something you cannot do because you're an indian you cannot do it you cannot educate you why would you even try to educate yourself you know you're going to be poor and indian all of your life and that's it you know so we've mm -hmm. we've done this this sort of evil thing uh, to ourselves to our own our very own cultures guatemala is a country that still drags a lot, a lot of those uh, sort of uh, perverse uh, traditions that got started with the Spaniards, the Spaniards treating the Indians as subhuman, yeah. right? And so, uh, so we sort of inherited that right. uh, from them, and uh, somehow bought the idea that if I am uh, uh, a little bit Spanish, I am better than uh, yeah. someone else, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the beauty of what we're doing is that through education and particularly through virtual education, mm -hmm. then you don't have it because right now you go to just about any uh, say koan, you go to any school mm -hmm. and you see you can see the the Mayans and you can see the non Mayans. Mm -hmm. It's sort of easy to it's it's very, easy uh, very easy to see, see. very yeah. easy and and you can almost feel. The tension, you know, the racial tension, oh, 
and it, and it's, you, saw that today. you see it every day. It's cannibalism, you know. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's it, and uh, but with virtual education, you don't have the other kids making fun of you because you don't speak Spanish as good as, as good the other kids, mm -hmm. right? They don't realize that you being bilingual are actually better <laughs> off than yeah, yeah, you know. So right, yeah. right. So, but that's not the point. The point mm -hmm. the point is that uh, when you are going at your own pace, when you are being, you're teaching yourself. It's a real education, right? It's what you teach yourself. Um, and you are um, uh, not being slowed down by, by, by the social group, you know, the tension in the social group and so forth, and by the uh, perverse ideas of, of racial mm -hmm. issues and so forth, particularly in the, in the poor communities, in the exactly. public schools and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, then all of a sudden you 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 are free, and so if you if you really like something, if you really like science, then uh, uh, you are free to pursue that. Right. Uh, and so yeah. there's a lot of advantages. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not saying that um, virtual education is actually superior to a really good uh, school like Mesa Americana, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a, a a physical school in Chimaltenango mm -hmm. with wonderful teachers that are mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, f like, for instance, my daughter, uh, she's 13, and she loves some of her teachers. Mm -hmm. she, and, you know, and when she has, yeah. she's, she's a whole support system, you know, like a, like a, a, a second family. Uh, you cannot replace that. No. But it's really difficult to find. You don't, you know. Oh, it's impossible. It's impossible it, 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 to get you, that. You can really way. count those kind of schools maybe on one or two hands. Yeah. In the entire yeah. country. Yeah. In the entire country. In the entire country. And you know, we we have spent enough time looking and researching, and the reason we chose where we have chosen to to make our stand and set up our, our shop in in Alta Vera Paz, uh, you know, in 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 Chisek, but in Coban, mm -hmm. is the very reasons you've spoken. Because the oppression that is there, it is so obvious every single day. Yeah. And you have these beautiful people who have are always looking down and always stepping back. Hardworking people. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh. I see the thinkers and the things they're doing, the fields and the hard work they put in every day. Yeah. It's amazing. They are hardworking. Yeah. And and they want to work. And yeah. and so you expand their mind. And look what they can do. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. incredible. It was, it was Once you set them free, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and and give them the message, yes, you can. You know, th mm -hmm. this is something uh, you are allowed to do. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, you, 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 you can make money. You yeah. know, you You're can progress. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, permission to be great. Yeah, permission to, to be great. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So anyway, it's 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 the next best is what we are sure. creating. And that's for education. Well, we're just very uh, grateful for our affiliation with with you, and yes, we are. And look forward to. Well, that's that, that's good. 